Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite, and happy Friday. I'm Corey Nockreiner, and today's story is Steam Stealers. To keep Friday's story light and to mix my gaming hobby with my security passion, I figured I'd talk about some recent research from Kaspersky Labs talking about Steam Stealers. If you're a gamer, you probably know Steam is a Valve's online game store. It's a service that allows you to buy lots of games and play them on your computer. And Kaspersky recently released a research study talking about Steam stealers, basically talking about how there's a criminal underground market where bad guys have created this malware as a service that helps criminals steal Steam accounts. Basically it's packaged malware that you can buy for pretty cheap. You can actually buy it for as low as three US dollars or at worst up to thirty dollars but that's the actual source code for this type of malware as well as lots of documentation helping you on how you might get victims to install this malware. Long story short, the Steam Stealer malware is really just designed to steal the credentials. Basically, uh, there's a key that might be stored on a victim's computer that could give the attacker access to a victim's Steam account. And apparently, there's a big underground market for these accounts. Once you gain access to the account, you have access to that user's games and any extra content they've bought for their games. So right now, you can sell Steam credentials on the underground for $15. And if you actually sell some of the games as well, you can actually make a lot more money than that. In any case, Kaspersky's research outlines all kinds of different Steam stealers. Some of them are written in C, some of them are written in the .NET framework, and there really is a big market for them. But it's actually a bigger problem than you might think. Apparently, according to Steam, over 77,000 users have their accounts hijacked every month. And while some of those account hijacks may be due to phishing attacks and things like that, it turns out that a big majority of them are associated with these Steam stealers. So if you're a Steam gamer, the takeaway here is you want to avoid this type of malware affecting your account. First of all, be very careful what types of Steam sites you go to and what types of programs you download that might try to connect to your Steam account. Be aware of all the traditional malware spreading and phishing techniques out there, and of course use things like antivirus and network security appliances to help you. But really another good thing you can do is actually enable Steam two-token authentication. This can help in that even if a bad guy might use this type of of malware to steal your key, they'll still need that second factor of authentication to get into your account. In any case, if you're a gamer, it's a very interesting story. They have a great PDF report, which I'll put a link to in the blog post associated with this video. That said, that's it for today's story. Have a great weekend, and thank you for watching.